let's talk about Albert. He was your second uh, heart transplant patient. Why did he need so desperately this transplant? Well, from the records, we knew that he was a sick man. He was breathless and he could hardly walk more than 10 yards without feeling breathless. So he was on the waiting list for a heart transplant. And when the right uh, match came, we informed him mm -hmm. that there is a possibility that we can do the transplant for him. Right. And uh, how did he react when he learned that, that a transplant was his really only option? He was surprised, of course, uh, but he knew the, his fate and that uh, the, only, the only way out was to do a transplant. Mm -hmm. And he was on the waiting list for a while because his blood group was a rather, rare. Was rather difficult, rare. rare. And, but uh, he was lucky because there was a donor from Ipoh mm -hmm. who was a Malaysian athlete. How did you feel watching your team perform the heart transplant? You were the consultant. Well, I was, I was uh, very pleased with the way things went, went through the operation. Mm -hmm. And uh, overall, we did well. And, yeah. and we were told that uh, that this athlete, Malaysian athlete from Ipoh, had just passed away and there was a brain death and there was a possibility of a heart. Mm -hmm. And usually, a heart transplant, the recipient is usually in ICU. And he was in ICU for a few days, mm -hmm. but he was brain dead. Albert was the second successful heart transplant patient, whereas the first one had sadly passed away after two years. Were there any concerns um, for heart transplants after his passing? Well, there was concern because uh, most of these patients were on immunosuppressive. And when your immune system is suppressed, there is that possibility that you might develop diseases, infection, cancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, our first heart transplant patient survived more than a year, but he unfortunately passed away because of cancer. Right. How many Malaysians are on the waiting list for a heart transplant? Many. Do you have a number? I don't have the number, but many. Many, yeah? And how many donors do we have? Not enough. 